How's it going guys? Welcome back to uh, Nelson's Koi Pond. Got a few little new items which I thought I'd share with you and I thought I'd uh, see you what I've done with them. Or let you guys see what I've done with them. The first one being a new thermometer for the pond. So we can get a bit of an idea just how warm the temperatures are in the pond at present which is 24 degrees. So there's a new thermometer, a little floating one. So we've got the new thermometer for inside the pond and we also got a new couple of thermometers for inside the filter shed. So I just thought I'd let you have a quick look at what I've got, which I will be sharing links to and where I got them from and the prices of them. Um, the first one being is a little thermometer to go on the inside of the filter system so I can tell if there's a difference between this is mainly for the winter period so that I can see if there's a difference between the filter system having it in here and insulated as to what there is outside in the pond temperature not going to know until I actually start trying to check it but this is just a little bit of something for you know my own peace of mind just to see if it's actually made any difference putting all the insulation or insulating the shed or whatever that were a complete waste of time but the uh, outside of it will uh, let me know but this is what I went for two little for the inside of the shed and the outside of the shed and I'll uh, spin the camera around so that I can show you so you don't see them in reverse view so this is these came as a set of two now I've had one outside, just resting outside and seeing the difference between the humidity and the temperature both inside the shed with the door open obviously it's 28.5 but the, out, the inside humidity, and the, which of this one has been in here, the humidity is 48% and this one's 44% which were outside so there's a slight difference but no difference in temperature but difference in humidity expecting more humidity inside the shed and then I also went but th these came in a set of two. Oh, sorry they came in a set of two now when I got them and I opened up I thought well there's nowhere I can even hook them on there's nothing I can do with them to this you can change it from Celsius to Fahrenheit on the back little slide off thing for replacement battery in it but there's nowhere I can come up with any way of making you know there's not to hook them on which I didn't realize but what I did find out short of which I'll share with you in a minute is it was a quite, quite funky and I thought you know some of you guys might want to do the same kind of thing as well make one yourself um, the second one being is a thermostat uh, temperature gauge with a probe so that I can see the difference of the temperature inside the last chamber which is what I'm gonna do I'm gonna fit that one inside there mount it because this one has a little bit of a screw I can sorry, there we go has a little bit of a screw slot so I can put a screw in screw it into the wall and I'm going to have it just above the uh, pump control so we've got that one which comes with a little rubber sucker and a spare one again like I said I will tell you the prices of all these which got me to thinking, right, I've got one in the pond that tells me the pond temperature. I'm going to have one in the shed that tells me the temp inside the shed and the humidity and one outside the shed and the humidity. And then this one for the temperature of the water inside the water tank. But I thought, well, I need to come up with somewhere. I could trim out the, the foam and just slot it in there. But then I thought, well, that's going to look a bit naff. So I'm messing around and looking at them. I thought to myself, hang about what size is that so 
I did a little bit of uh, inventing. Inch and a half or 43 mil PVC elbow. Oh. Look what this fits in. And it just clicks in nicely into place. Which turns it into a little stand for the thermostat. I thought that was pretty cool. And pretty, uh, you know, I can stick that one in there and then I can use the second one that I've got as a spare one. And then pop that in click it into place and when you want to get it back out again to change the battery you just put your hand in, finger in back and push it back out again so there we go two perfect little uh, stands I'm going to try and get that one back in there a little bit more straighter now my second one I was thinking about putting, leaving one in there so we've got one in here that will always be visible we can always see what the temperature is inside the shed and the humidity and the second one I was now thinking about mounting up here so I'm going to put a screw in the roof and mount that one up there and then I've got a second one kind of thing like that second one outside tells me temperature outside and the humidity outside the shed so I thought that was a pretty cool little find that I found that they both perfectly fit inside them perfectly almost made to measure so I'm gonna get this one fitted in and then and then I've got the internal temperature of the water inside the uh, blast filter barrel the internal temperature of the water outside in the garden the internal temperature plus humidity inside the shed and the external temperature and humidity outside in the the garden which is what I wanted so that I can tell what time the temperatures you're getting and whether or not uh, things are dropping cooler and you know we'll have an idea of what it's like outside for the temperatures you can keep an eye on them if you need to you know if it's getting a lot hotter we can keep a bit of extra air going into the pond if it's coming cooler we can start getting prepped and we know them for feeding for let's like say for example dropping to wheat germ if it's dropping below 10 degrees and such so it's some i've wanted for a while but they're only cheap ones and we'll see how they go i will put a link in the description and i will uh, you know share the, where i got them from all three of them all three items came from amazon the external thermometer for the pond or the internal thermometer for the pond doesn't have one of those plastic tubes around it doesn't have one of the um you know the ones that fill up with water so that it gets to the temperature so hopefully fingers crossed it won't turn green like the last one did so which is a bit naff um, this one I should if it does go green I should just be able to give it a wash and wipe it down with a cloth and bring it back up to full you know visible and readable again so anyway I get this one fitted in and I get back to you in a tick hi right, guys so we've uh, we've got them in and fitted first one I'll show you over here. We've now got this probe which goes in through the lid and into the barrel and it's showing at 22.6 degrees inside the uh, flash chamber. We've got this one in the uh, little stand I made for it which I you know it's no, it's no major thing but pretty nifty for uh, these are uh, for the for two of these was 7 99 and these are about 50 pence a piece so I've got that one there on the inside which tells me the inside temperature of the shed which is 28.8 degrees and 42 percent humidity and then we've got the second one now which is mounted to the outside of the shed at 27.1 degrees and 42 percent humidity and this one all i did to do it to just to fasten this one on 
if I pop that back out, I screw the screw in and I use a little bit of mitre bond, put a bit of mitre bond on the face of the screw and then sprayed some activator at it and then we've got the one mounted up there. I might put a drop of that on the back of that actual fitting just in case but I mean it is in pretty solid, it takes a bit of prizing out but now we've got the internal temperature so I know how warm the water is which is 22.6 28.9 inside the shed and 27 degrees outside so the shed is a, a whole degree warmer and then the uh, new thermostat or thermometer just on the outside of the pond as I said I'll put links to all these so you can see 22 degrees point odd just slightly over so we can uh, keep and maintain uh, the temperature of the pond and as it's a floating one and I have a net you can just sit on top of the net as it reaches into the water As you can see there, all the blanket algae, it uh, was treated on on Saturday when Kyle came over. It's now Monday evening, it's all completely gone, left with a white mess on bottom. But it's all cleaned back off of all the lilies and off all the plants. All died back and all filtered out. I'm looking pretty clear, it's not perfectly clear yet, but it's certainly getting there. So guys, only a little short one, but a uh, little bit of uh, information and a little few little bits and bats that I needed for my own peace of mind, just so I know how things are running. But if you're uh, enjoying this kind of content, and if you look in the descriptions below, all the little um, temperature thermometers which I got, I'll leave a little link for each one. All of them come from Amazon, next day delivery. Like I said, if you're enjoying this type of content, use your thing, like, share, subscribe, tell a friend, and until next time guys. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace, Marilyn. See you soon.